Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So today I am so beyond excited to film this video finally because I'm gonna be setting up for a new collection, um, CIX, as you can tell. Um, and that's also my first Prism Platinum binder I'm gonna be setting up. I haven't uh, set up any of the other ones I've received so far, so yeah, so so excited about this. Uh, yeah, so I just put everything back in the box when I received it So I could make sure it was kept safely And in the plastic too So yeah, what I did when I received it is I put um, There should be enough pages inside but I do have a few more if ever I need uh, extra. Also, on an unrelated topic, please excuse my nails. I took off my acrylics a few weeks ago and I've been trying to grow them out. So yeah, I kind of had to cut everything <laughs> short and I've been using some kind of nail treatment ever since to make them stronger. So yeah, they're, they're not looking their best, but yeah, back to the interesting topic today. So this is the Prism Platinum Binder, binder I'm going to be using for my CIX collection. Um, I believe it's called Midnight, and it has this little moon and stars design, and at the front too, it's hollow, it's so pretty. Oops. And yeah, that's the back and it closes completely like there's a um, a magnet here, so that's perfect. Also, I love that the moon is the side where it kind of looks like a sea and you have five little stars around it. So yeah, I just thought that was perfect for um, my CIX collection, basically. Uh, where do I put this? Hang on. I think this is gonna be better. So these are the Prism Platinum pages as well. They're super clear, so hopefully there won't be a glare when I start putting the cards in, but yep. So for CIX, I don't have that many cards on hand. So yeah, this will be pretty quick, I guess. I have decided that I would be collecting Yongis and Jin Youngs. Korean album photo cards, so I have more of Yongis than I do of uh, Jin Young, but yeah, I have made fillers for everything, so yeah, that's basically what we're gonna be doing today. Just put everything in there. It might not be a super chatty video, so if you like that better, I'm very sorry about this. I'm gonna try, but I haven't been feeling my best today, which is kind of why I wanted to do this now. <laughs> the highlight of my day is storing photo cards. So yeah, uh, this one, I didn't even mention it. I'm using the standard Dragon Shield sleeves in like clear. Um, and they fit perfectly in the pockets. There's actually a little bit of room still, so it's super easy to put everything in the pockets basically so yeah that's their first album oh and i have Jin Young's on the way oh actually i believe this one is in a poker market order and it's already at my korean warehouse at the korean warehouse i use so yeah i just need to request shipping to me now is the glare okay should i bring it down a little bit Hopefully this is not too, too bad. But yeah, that's it for the first page. And for CIX, I think I'm gonna be storing them just on the one side. The pages are double-sided, so if ever you wanna double-side your pages, you can very easily do that. But like, they're so clear that even with an extra layer of plastic, it doesn't really like change anything i feel like with some brands they're not as clear so when you have double sided pages um 
the back of your card gets a little, not blurry, but foggy. And this does not happen, so yep. Also, I have this one, uh, Hyunsuk Future Card from their first album. Actually, when I decided to collect, I wasn't too sure on who I was wanting to collect. Um, I did hesitate a lot. Yongye was my first pick. Um, I decided after the concert that they held in my city this year and yeah Hyunsuk was also one of my favorites so I did consider um, collecting his cards and then after watching more videos of them Jin Young just took the spot so yeah I'm gonna put this one at the back I'll have to see uh, how many pages I feel first but yeah I haven't been stunning CIX since debut um, I kind of listened a little bit to their title tracks when they came out mm. oh hang on what am I doing I think it's like this sorry <laughs> um, and yeah I just like them but yeah I was just living my life, you know, and I heard cinema. I know I did not listen to it when it came out. I just heard it in a Spotify playlist and I loved this song so, so much. Um, that's exactly the kind of songs I adore, the kind of music that you know, really makes me feel in such a good mood and like it's my perfect song basically um hang on i also did not organize this well but yes i've been listening to that a lot but that's one of the only cix songs i would listen to i'm fairly sure um for a long time and when they announced the concert in my city, uh, one of my friends told me about it. I wasn't even aware of that. That's how not prepared I was for this. And she really wanted to go. She wasn't really feeling going on her own, I think. Or Yeah, the tickets were not that expensive. And I was just like, I kind of want to see cinema live, you know. I just love this song too much, so if you want to go and can get tickets, I'm going with you. So let's go. Let's try to get tickets together. And we did get tickets. Um, so yeah, finally we have a new Yongi card. And it was so amazing. That's one of the best concerts I've been to, maybe ever. And... I believe some of it has to do with how I wasn't really expecting anything, if that makes sense. Um, I was just going there <laughs> to chill and to listen to cinema, basically. But it was so, so good. They were amazing. It was mm, not too big of a venue. Honestly, it was uh, one I really, really like. And they were so so good they're amazing live their dancing is out of this world and they interact so much with the public that was honestly so nice to see um and yep <laughs> that was it for me also to prepare for the concert i listened to playlists that were made of the set list and the songs were just so good. I realized I never really took the time to dig into their discography before that. And I regret it now. But at least now I know about their songs and how good they are. And they did not really leave me any choice, I guess. So <laughs> I started looking into their albums. Um, I've... I have one 
I literally have only one of their album and I'm looking into purchasing the others but I have got more photo cards than albums <laughs> so but I mean I don't really mind because since I'm planning on collecting two members I still need at least half of the photo cards way more than that but even for some sets where I have uh, some cards except maybe for their first um, mini album but apart from that I'm still needing so many photo cards that yep <laughs> so that won't be an issue Let's see although they had their comeback this week I still haven't listened to the album on really really bad I was supposed to listen to it yesterday after well after I unboxed my binders actually and I just fell asleep so yeah just listen to the title track and watch the music video and it's just so good the song is amazing and the music video is quite hard hitting to be completely honest I might have shed a little tear but that's fine but yep anyway that's a lot of rambling I just really really like them they seem like such nice people too so that's like a really big bonus I have pre-ordered the album though, like this time I was prepared, I was ready to spend my money, so yeah, uh, I think I pre-ordered it with something else, I think with Taeyong's album, so it's not out yet, so I think I still need to wait like a week or something like that, and they're gonna ship, I'm so excited about it. <laughs> I just realized I haven't li even looked at unboxings or even photocard templates just to see what they look like. I'm just expecting it. <laughs> so I do have Jin Young's A Special Card from their OK Episode 1 album that I found on Perka Market for such a good price actually. Um, I remember the day I found this one was just the day after watching a, a fix either set up their collection or like finish their collection or something oh no was it like a pine the tour for their CIX collection or something like that um, and they were talking about these cards and how expensive they could get so when I saw this one on Poker Market, I just snatched it. It was under five dollars, so I, that's why I, I got it. Um, but it did not have Yongyi, so still on the hunt for this. Uh, yeah. Anyways, hang on. This is not organized at all. So these are the fillers for their OK episode two album. So they have four, hang on, how many is it? Four photo cards each for the regular photo book version. Yep, wait, that's actually the only version they have. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit out of it as I said. Uh, so I'm gonna need one more. Two, I need four. Four more pages. Okay. Um, yeah, that's. I don't know why. I'm still convinced there are some jewel cases <laughs> as well for this, but no. We have two two versions, like two photo book versions, which is absolutely perfect. I was debating getting an extra set actually, so 
yeah let's see there are way too many comebacks at the moment so i might wait um a few weeks and see how it goes and the state of my finances <laughs> So yeah, this one is Hyun Suk's photo card from their first mini album. I have a couple of other photo cards of other members. So they're all gonna be at the back here. Well, like maybe I can try and complete this set for the whole group. I'll just have to look into it and see what I want to do. Uh, so then I'm not planning on collecting pre-order benefits or anything other than Korean album photographs for CIX, but sometimes things happen, you know? Um, so these two I got from a K-pop store in my city, because when you spend over 30 euros, you can like turn a kind of thing, <laughs> and then there's a little wall that comes out, and depending on the color, you can pick some cards, basically. And yeah, these were the two I got. I cannot remember which era is this. It's the one where I don't have any of the cards. It's not this one. It's this one, I think. I think it's chapter 3. This one at least is chapter 3, I'm fairly sure. And then we got this one from episode 1. Okay, not. And this one I bought on Poker Market because it was just too cute. And I'm fairly sure I have a fourth one in my last latest my last my upcoming book and market package so that will fill the page and i'm not buying anymore that's that's the rule i think i have only one hopefully i did not buy two because that would be a very dumb thing to do um and yeah the other day i received my neo kill package and there was a youngie set in it most of the cards were uh, his album photo cards, but it came with these two as well. So they're just gonna chill here and I'll see what I do. If I wanna add a couple more of his cards or try to find Jin Young's equivalent, maybe if they're not too expensive. But yeah, these are from the 2022 season's greetings. So let's do a quick flip through that's an empty binder i'm gonna be honest but this is the fullest page it's gonna be even more full soon so very exciting and these are just empty <laughs> this is sad this is really sad he's adorable like his hair like this so cute these were some of my favorites too i bought one and pulled the other one in my album which was great <laughs> have a couple of jin Young's on the way still which is exciting too And that's it. Let's see how full this is. I think it's fine. I think there's still, yeah, there's quite a lot of room still. If ever I need, I can always double side Oof, the pages. So that's fine. I wanted to store Pew and Harmony with them, but I might not do that. <laughs> I'll have to look into that. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. That was a quick one. I'm super excited about seeing this collection grow and even more excited to receive my albums uh, whenever they ship. So yeah, but that's it for me today. If you're still here, thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Um, still have quite a few binders to set up. So if that interests you, I'll hopefully see you then, but until then, take very good care of yourselves. Bye!